60% of people in the Church of England who attend services weekly say they don't read their Bible. Is this right? Well, today I'm going to give you three reasons of why we should read our Bible, but even more than that, to study our Bible. Happy New Year and welcome to the channel. My name is Dan Beasley and this channel is all about inspiring intentional discipleship where each month I take a different theme and look at it from three different points of view. Today is about biblical foundations, on Wednesday we look at personal growth and on Friday about missional living. So please subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button below and every time an episode gets released you'll be notified automatically. And also in each episode there are episode notes below so there's all the links and everything that I talk about and even things I forget about. So can we be intentional disciples of Christ without ever reading our Bibles? There's not people just in the Church of England but all the way around the world people of professing their faith as Christians but never ever picking up the Bible and reading it they're getting their sources maybe from their priest or pastor maybe from the TV or radio or from other books they read but they never read the Bible. Today I'm going to give you three reasons why we should be reading our Bible and the importance of reading the Bible. I'm also going to give you some tips and advice and give you some books that would help you understand that but primarily it starts with the Bible and that's where we must start. So let's go for the first one. So the first reason that we should read the Bible is God reveals himself through the Bible. If we didn't have the Bible we wouldn't know God's bigger plan, the bigger story and, and, and what he achieved on the cross uh, the reason for Jesus birth we don't know the history in the Old Testament if we don't read that and how the Old Testament is prophesying pointing towards Christ and then we don't see the development of the church after Christ's death and resurrection let alone the life of Christ the time that he walked on this earth in the things that he said if we don't read the Bible we will never know God's bigger plan and who God actually is we create this nice image in our head of who God is but we don't really know him I remember telling a story to a friend once challenging them to read the Bible and I said this imagine that you were in a car crash and you survived and you were in your bed but you had lost your memory and a few weeks later your partner came in with your diaries now in those diaries of everything that you've ever written in your life not in complete detail but major things that happened especially the last 15 years with your partner now what would you do would you not read them and solely listen to your partner about your marriage for example and hear his or her perspective saying yeah this is how our marriage is and it's been great and and yet they would leave out parts maybe they had an affair maybe once they hit you or stole from you but in those diaries are those intimate thoughts those notes that you had written about not only just what happened but how you felt about it would you push those diaries away uh, in reading those diaries it might hurt and it might taint some of the things that you uh, would see in your partner but there would be also amazing things in there about what they would have done in the time they were with you would you solely rely on a kind of an objective view of your partner no matter how much they love you they would think well I don't need to mention that time I did this or I don't need to mention that time I did that because this is a time I can wipe the slate clean we'll stay away from the difficult parts or would you go and read your intimate knowledge and what you've written intimately with the feelings as well as the facts of what happened I know what I would do and yes there would be difficult parts and there are difficult parts in the bible but there are also amazing parts and we have to understand those difficult parts so we have to understand like in those diaries that you are there with your partner after all this has happened so you've worked through and you have to understand how you worked through and what happened and how the forgiveness happened and those difficult parts in the bible we have to understand exactly what's happening and put those in the context of the cross so if we don't read the bible we never know intimately how god reveals himself to the world from creation until the resurrection and the coming of the holy spirit the whole story and the whole overview of that we missed the revelation of God to us and we really need 
to understand both the good and what we think are the bad parts. So a couple of books uh, that kind of give it an overview outside the Bible. First of all and foremost is what I'm saying is read the Bible but it's also helpful to have um, some books that you can go to because it gives context and it's really important to understand context. So the first one is God's Big Picture by Vaughan Roberts and it paints that overview of God's Big picture and what's happening in the bible the second one is by mike pilavachi and andy croft to be uh one that is written for teenagers but it's great because it gives storylines and and the different storylines that are happening in the bible and both of these books will kind of give an overview of the bigger picture because as you're reading through the bible you might not be able to see that so it is important to get a couple of books to help you another book that i would recommend just as i'm here is uh, how to read the bible for all it's worth i think i this is a third edition that i got i think they're on to the the fifth edition this will help you to really get as much out the bible as possible when reading it so you could even read this before you start reading the bible um or you can read it alongside and this will get you to get as much out the bible and what you're reading uh in the bible and it'll give you greater explanation greater understanding so i recommend that one as well the second reason is god speaks to us through the bible through reading the bible through the holy spirit the the bible is a living book it's not just a book that is 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 written and and that is just it i don't know how many people i've heard through the centuries read and spoke to who have said the bible continually speaks to them how one of the stories maybe that jesus told or something on the old testament means something completely different as they get older how relevant it is to their life yet this is the 10,000th time they read that passage but seen something new and this is really important because this is a living book that not only does God reveal himself through but he always is working through and through the Holy Spirit so as we come to the Bible we need to ask the Holy Spirit to help us and to guide us and, and where relevant and where we need to learn or where we need to change in our lives so we need to ask the Holy Spirit to help us understand what's being written in the Bible and God speaks through the Bible even though it was written a couple of thousand years ago in, and more in, in some letters that it still is relevant today because God uses those words. You know many people have not been Christian and just picked up a Bible and, and read it and found faith not asking any difficult questions, not having a, a life changing incident in their life they've just been maybe in a hotel room and they picked up a bible and they've read it and they become a christian through that there's no other book in the world that can do that god speaks through the bible and into our lives and that's what's happened in many of those instances that people have picked up the bible and god has spoken into their lives and they've realized who god is because god is revealed in the scriptures so the first one and second one go together it's really really important that we understand that this book is a living book someone the other day told me that this is a book of fiction it's not a book of fiction if it was a book of fiction it would have died a long time ago and it would have just been finished with this is a book that is still going strong in the world it is changing lives forever because this book continues to live this book continues to speak into people's lives the third reason is because it's our foundation now if we don't read the bible what foundation do we have we say that we're christians but we built our faith on on what it becomes what we think now i've done another video on some really wacky uh, forms of christianity that they're not even christian out there and the link is here now you can go off and watch that but if we don't base our faith on what God says and how God reveals himself, then what do we base on? Now, this is difficult for some people because there are some really tough teachings in the Bible. When I first became a Christian and I read the Bible for the first time, I found it really difficult. Uh, my first reaction is I didn't want to become a Christian because um, some of the things were really hard that, and I would felt that I had to change and I had to change because um, it, my life wasn't in line with what my faith was uh, saying. So that can be really difficult for some people, but we have to understand that we will be changed. We will be changed through the Holy Spirit and we'll be changed through reading the Bible. In Romans, it says your mind will be renewed. And as our mind is renewed as our thinking changes, as how our views change on particular subjects, 
sometimes we can go with that change and we can find it amazing and exhilarating and, and, and give us a really good foundation. Sometimes it can be really difficult and we don't want to change those things in our lives. But you know what? It's, it's God who is constant and his laws and everything that are there um, are important as the laws uh, in whatever land you are in. You adhere to them because you know that they're there for a reason. You don't pick and choose which ones you're going to adhere to. If you break one of those laws, then you're going to get punished for it. And we have to understand that's the same if God is who he says he is. And he says, don't do this. Um, then we have to understand that there would be consequences in the end. Now, don't think that God isn't a God of love because he absolutely is. But as with my children, if I say for their benefit, don't do this, then it's because I love them. and I know in the long run, it's going to be better for them. Um, and it's my rules. And this is what God is. God is the one who sees everything, who created everything. So we have to change our minds and renew our minds and we only renew our minds through reading the bible and understanding who god is and god's word and it's so amazing that's the thing once you start reading the bible and really understanding your thoughts of this horrible god um, which a lot of people have that god's a, a god of uh, destruction and, and, and killing people and being mean and, and, and being a bigot actually is not like that you understand that god is a loving god who loves his children and rules need to be there and be in place and it gives us that foundation which is really important we need that foundation in our faith if we don't have uh, god's rules and laws uh, as our foundation um, as him as a loving father helping us to go through life and be better people and, and to love and worship him then we start putting our own rules in and then we start just um going off like in the other video and starting these very weird wacky religions because we're not basing our faith on the foundation of the bible so don't think that uh, just reading the bible it will give you all the answers because um all the answers aren't there we we've moved on uh, in technology and the way of our lifestyle since it was written uh, they people who wrote these uh, letters many years ago didn't know uh, all the development uh, of the world so it's not going to answer everything you know there's a lot of people who still argue about the meaning of baptism um, in the bible and whether children should be baptized it's not even that clear and, and baptism was uh, something that jesus did himself and is passed down in the church his disciples were baptizing so it's something that we're following and yet it is not clear even on that main point so don't think that um because it's not there the bible isn't right um it's just not clear and we but we have to see the bigger picture and that's the important part of reading the bible that we do understand the bigger picture there's a guy called paul who wrote many of the new testament letters when he's writing to uh, one of his churches he's saying you know this is what I think you should do. This is my interpretation. It's not written down. But when I look at the bigger picture, when I understand uh, the whole thing that's going on, this is what I think you should do based on that. So because there isn't a specific answer, you um, don't think that the Bible isn't right because it has to answer everything. That would be uh, silly. The book would be too big. It's understanding um, more, not of this world, but of God and looking to God and who God is. So another book to help you, there are 66 books in the Bible and this book is a good book. It talks about each of those books um, and it's got little timelines and it's got uh, explanations and really cool things about each book. Uh, that will give you a background because context is everything. Context is really important, understanding what's going on. And this is why I talked about we should read the Bible and I have my Bible here that I read um, but also we should study the Bible and I have my Bible here that I study so it's got all the study notes in the bottom as well down here um, it's explaining what's going on because I sit and read for my pleasure and to learn but also I want to study so we should read the Bible and we should spend time studying the Bible and understand exactly what's going on because in the bible there is so much more going on and when we understand the context um, of, 
things. It's so amazing understanding some of the words that Jesus is speaking at the time and realizing that if you were in the crowd and understanding the context, the stuff that he said was just mind blowing and people would have just been there absolutely shocked. And the danger is, is that we don't understand that. We just read the Bible. When we study the Bible, the next time we read it, then we'll go, wow, this is amazing. This is unbelievable what he's saying. And this is uh, why this year I'm going to go through this Bible, uh, which is a cultural background study Bible, because I really want to get into um, the culture at the time and, and, and what's going on and really understanding so I can draw out and, and especially in these videos in the future, exactly what's going on um, and going deeper in my study. And this helps me become more of an intentional disciple. This is saying that I'm understanding. And you know what? When I go and speak to people about the Bible, I can bring it alive. I can make it more relevant because a lot of people think the Bible isn't relevant. And it is. And a lot of people say negative things about the Bible. But when you bring it alive, when you say, do you know um, what's happening? And do you know when Jesus said this? Or do you know what happened in the Old Testament when this happened? It brings it alive and it puts it in context and then it really, really engages with people. And I've seen that in conversations that I had. So I want to study more. And this is what happens when you start reading the Bible and you start wanting to study the Bible. You want to go deeper. You want to know God more intimately. You want to build up that personal relationship with him. But you also want to know the, the bigger story and what's going on in those storylines. So this year, go and pick up a Bible. And, and first of all, just if you never read it, just start reading it. Get a Bible plan. I did a video about which Bible plan that we should go through this year. There's one called Read Scripture, which would be perfect uh, for this year because it's actually reading through uh, two or three books of the Bible each day. I've also done another video about which Bible translation to use because that's really important. You don't want to go get a Bible translation that you really don't understand. So you can click on the link to watch that and see which one will be relevant for you. So commit this year to just read the Bible. Uh, do it on the Read Scripture app or, or just pick up a Bible and one that really will uh, speak to you and is relevant in the language that you can understand. Um, and next year, then commit to getting a study Bible. The ESV, I can't recommend enough. The ESV study Bible is, is really amazing and uh, re really helpful and really concise. Um, or carry on with your version of the Bible. It might be NIV or NLT and get a commentary. I've got uh, these commentaries here. This is a, a commentary that just goes through the whole Bible. Um, and it's big and it's meaty, but it's just one book instead of a whole range. And that will help you as well understand. But as you study the Bible, don't stop reading the Bible. It's really, really important that we engage with God's word. God reveals himself through the Bible. God speaks to us through the Bible and it gives us our foundations as Christians. It might not be easy. It might be amazing. Um, and at different points in our lives, it's going to speak to us in different ways but if we don't read the bible we will never ever know or experience those things so my challenge for you today is to start reading your bible let's pray heavenly father we thank you that you reveal yourself through your word and that your big plan is is laid out there for all to see you haven't hid anything from us Inspire us and guide us to find the right Bible which we will read and engage with. Help us to understand your word through the easy parts and the hard parts, the parts that we find very difficult. Help us to understand what is going on. Help us to speak to the right people that we know about those things. But most of all, transform us through reading your word transform our minds help us to see what our faith is about build that foundation on which we stand that we come to know you better but also that we share the love that you share with us with all that we know around us amen